I'm excited to announce our visit to a terrestrial biome. If you're wondering what that is, let me tell you that it is a general term used for a desert, tropical rainforest, a savanna, etc. By the way, ponds and oceans are called aquatic biomes. What's special about these biomes? Let's explore. A biome is defined as a region of distinct plants and animal communities well adapted to that particular environment. Biomes may be aquatic or terrestrial. A biome comprises of various ecosystems with their biotic and abiotic components interacting with each other. Let's understand the biotic factors. In a terrestrial biome, green plants act as the producers. These plants are autotrophic. Animals like deer are the primary consumers which feed on the green plants and hence are known as herbivores. Animals which feed on the herbivores are the secondary consumers. These animals, when they die, are decomposed by microorganism, thus releasing simple organic substances. All ecosystems have producers, primary consumers, secondary consumers and decomposers. Let us understand the abiotic factors. The first of which is light. It directly or indirectly affects life activities. Light is essential for photosynthetic activity of green plants. Next is temperature. Different organisms have different range of temperature tolerance. Some organisms have a narrow range of temperature tolerance and are called cold-blooded animals. The next is water and rain. Life is impossible without water. In living organisms, water constitutes of about 60 to 90% of the body weight. Soil receives water through rain and plants obtain the water from the soil, which is then utilized for metabolic activities. And the last is soil. The upper layer of the land surface constitutes the soil. Land plants remain attached to the soil. They obtain minerals and nutrients and water from the soil. Decomposition of plants and animals adds to the organic content of the soil. Let us summarize. A biome is defined as a region of distinct plant and animal communities well adapted to that particular environment. Biomes may be aquatic or terrestrial. All the ecosystems are made up of two main components, abiotic and biotic. Abiotic means non-living components, including soil, water, air, oxygen, etc. Biotic means living components. It includes three types of organisms. Producers, which synthesize their own food. For example, all green plants. Consumers, depend on others for food. For example, all animals. Decomposers, which consume dead remains of other organisms. For example, certain bacteria and fungi. Thus, we can say that the ecosystem consists of non-living environment and a living biological community. Whoa! Look at those maggots feeding on a dead animal. Are maggots producers or consumers? Or are they in a different category altogether? Explore more videos to know more about the group of biotic components. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.